Hello, welcome to this short presentation about the Louisa Fennell Wakefield Walking Trail. It's a combined authority funded immersive experience, walking into culture, creativity and community. My name is Sarah Leah Cobham and I am the CEO of Dreamtime Creative. We believe that from creativity comes connection. And we are also the powerhouse behind the Forgotten Women of Wakefield Blue Plaque Parity campaign, of which Louisa Fennell plays an important part. The 2022 State of the District report says that in 2019, 67% of adults in Wakefield District were overweight or obese, and that is pretty average. It also says that walking is simple, free, and one of the easiest ways to get more active, lose weight and become healthier. Here at Dreamtime Creative, we also understand and actively promote the idea that walking helps with mental and emotional well-being. So we already had an existing Louisa Fennell Trail. It was launched in September 2019, just before COVID, and enabled a whole series of lead walks to take place before the March in 2020, 2020, but also through the lockdown enabled people to walk independently. Lead walks and independent walks take place all the time in Wakefield and I really enjoy getting dressed up as a Victorian character and I'm often seen in Wakefield with my top hat uh, on uh, proudly walking the streets with people behind me, learning about the history and heritage of our city and Louisa Fennell's role in it. You can see on this screen the centre picture, there's a blue graph. That tells us just how many times on our website the Louisa Fennell walking trail is visited and we can track those numbers so we can tell that people are engaging in our website as they are walking the trail. On any given day, there's at least 10 people walking that trail, but oftentimes there's up to 60. So we began our project as a co-production with the Wakefield District City of Sanctuary. As an established arts company, we've got lots of partners and we were looking for an opportunity to engage with our global ethnic majority community or our GEM community. And the funding for this project gave us that unique opportunity to produce a book in six languages that enabled all of our GEM community to engage with the history and heritage of Wakefield. Here we did a walk on Ukraine's Independence Day and there were about 40 people and it was amazing. So throughout the summer months we were training various GEM community members um, in the history and heritage of the city and Louisa Fennell's life particularly and now two of those members of the community are continuing to lead groups in their particular language supported by the book that's funded by this grant around Wakefield. It's a wonderful way of breaking down all sorts of um, racial uh, stereotypes. So from creativity comes connection to culture and place. Louisa Fennell's family worshipped at a chapel in Wakefield called the Westgate Unitarian Chapel and they were actually at the heart of the social and cultural revolution in the 19th century, preaching anti-slavery and equal suffrage from the pulpit that you can see in the photographs there. Our West Yorkshire History Centre holds a lot of Louisa Fennell's original documents, including the diary that she wrote when she was 13 years old. So there is a link between the uh, West Yorkshire History Centre all the way through Wakefield, using the panels up to the bottom end or the top end of Wakefield where the chapel is. We had our wonderful day at the chapel and launched the book and as you can see, it was attended by the GEM community and other dignitaries at that time. 
So we actively promote the benefits of walking together as a community across the whole of and all of our communities in Wakefield. And because we believe that you cannot be what you cannot see, we actively look to promote what we do in the press and across all different types of media. So here's a lovely example of um, the, the book being launched in our local Wakefield Express. If you Google Louisa Fennell uh, multi-language walking trail, you'll see it across lots of different news outlets across the region. I think the emphasis here is on walking together as a community. So not just the physical walking together, but the emotional, intellectual, spiritual and mental coming together as a community and it's the power of the funding that has enabled that to happen here in Wakefield. One particular gentleman called Ali Shah who played a wonderful role in the development of the the walking trail and now leads those walking trails for different communities across Wakefield has told me that being involved in this project from beginning to end as an asylum seeker now makes him feel like Wakefield is his home. So for me, that's an incredibly powerful legacy. And for Dreamtime Creative, that's what we're about. Thank you ever so much for listening.